Pooja Shali breaks down for you all of those challenges. Look closely at what will happen as and when Vikram Lander touches down on the lunar surface. So presently, Vikram Lander floating at about 30, 25 kilometers uh, right above the moon. So this is how it's going to look like. This is an illustration as specific as you can see to help understand what will happen. Then it goes closer. But it will have to have a very controlled slowdown. It will reduce the speed compared to how it was till now when it was in the orbit. Remember, there is moon's gravity. So that will want to pull down the Vikram Lander. So that controlled speed will help the Vikram Lander go according to how it wants. Then there will be a maneuver. That maneuver is going to ensure that the direction is twisted because right now it is an absolutely uh, horizontal direction. It will have to change and twist itself so that it can come at a position where it can start to align itself to the landing of the lunar surface. Once it has aligned itself, once it's sure that this is the uh, position that it can now go down to the surface to touch it, that is when the lander will hover at about 7.5 kilometers over the moon. This is going to be barely minutes before the landing of 6 p.m. When that happens, it will check all the compositions. The sensors are calibrated. The moon's surface has been touched. This is going to be the south pole of the moon. And that is when at 6 and 4 minutes past 6 p.m., the lander will become vertical, hover at about... 800 to 1300 meters and then the altitude starts to decrease to about 150 meters. It is going to be very slow but it will be steady and that is when at about four minutes past six it's going to touch down on the, on the south pole of moon and that is when all of us are going to stand in cheer. Remember this is going to be a very calculated mission. These are the last 10 to 15 minutes that the scientists will be waiting with bated breath to ensure all of this, the calculations will work. Let's take that uh, particular point that Pooja made about the last 15 minutes of terror. Let's take that forward and explain to you what really that means. Any expert, any space scientist you talk to and you talk about any space mission they always refer to those last few minutes of terror in this case ISRO has confirmed it'll be about 15 to 17 minutes the most crucial phase of the mission it's the make or break moment that decides whether this mission has been successful or not the landing sequence will begin at around 5 45 p.m. and will last for around quarter of an hour this last leg of the mission carries a heavy heavy burden because remember that it was in the last 15 minutes when Chandra Hunter's Vikram lander failed to execute the transition needed, leading to a crash landing during that fine breaking phase. It was just 7.4 kilometers from the moon. And I'm sure you all remember how when we were watching it live, suddenly the lander just stopped moving. There was no signal that was coming through. The terminal descent is the most crucial part of the landing. Vikram lander at this point checks for boulders, checks for craters, any obstacles essentially on the surface or off the moon. And if it detects them, then won't go ahead and land at that spot. Or if it doesn't, then it will go ahead and continue with a vertical descent. Once the Vikram lander successfully lands on the lunar south pole, the sensors will signal the computer on board the spacecraft. And after about two hours of that landing, then you'll see the Pragyan rover coming out. And that's because there's a lot of dust in the surface of the moon, lunar dust. And they'll want that to completely settle so it doesn't affect the cameras, doesn't affect the computers, doesn't affect the sensors. Only after about two hours will the rover actually be allowed out of the lander.